freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it, hopefully you are all okay. If you saw my last video, you know exactly where we are and what we're doing. We are currently getting loaded with a load of timber. We've got nine deliveries, nine. Now today is only Wednesday and the first delivery is due tomorrow in Tunbridge uh, for 9 a.m. But it's only half past 11 now, so I'm hoping I can get this loaded and then crack on and try and make the first delivery. That's what I'm gonna try and do anyway. Um, but I'll tell you what I love so far about this. Firstly, as soon as I got here, they're incredibly friendly. Uh, friendly. We're in uh, Grange Fencing in Harwich. Incredibly friendly guy so far, from what I've seen. But also, all the pallets are numbered, let me show you. So we're gonna have nine deliveries. There's number nine, look, and that one. We've got number eight up there. There's number seven, that's number four. Uh, it's just going to be so easy to uh, to get them all off on their own because we're going to know exactly what's coming off without having to figure out what is what. Because timber comes in lots of different types of sizes and shapes and um, like colour and then if it's been creosalted, is it outdoor stuff? I think that's green, that one. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just really cool so far. Anyway, I'm going to start strapping up. We are looking not too tall, but I do have a height stick so I can measure if I needed to. But yeah, anyway, let's strap up. So already I could tell it's gonna be a case of undoing a couple of straps uh, at each drop and then putting the straps back over again. So for example, well, this first row, so delivery number eight, got to take these two straps off and then put the straps back over again. Same for five, I got to undo these two straps, put the straps back over again uh, to cover up the, all the nines, which are on the bottom. This one, you got sevens behind this number four. So this is only a very thin pallet. So I think, again, it'd be two straps down the side. When we get to delivery number four, it'd just be a case of them whacking that off and then doing the sevens back up again. That's this side. We've still obviously got more to go on yet, but uh, it's cool. At least it's all easily labeled. Definitely makes a difference, 100%. Okay, I believe we are done. That is what we got on. Uh, we will measure it in a second. The highest point is that up there. But uh, I checked that height, I checked that height, and I checked that height to be safe. But I'm pretty sure that's the highest bit. Uh, followed by that one. Let's go check the other side. Literally in line with the edge of the trailer. So that's pretty cool. And this, uh, what it looks like from this side, we got drop one lot which is yellow so we've got four lifts here for drop one and that's it there's no drop ones this side uh we've got drop two around the other side on the back which are the blue ones so all these blue ones what's that one? Oh yeah that's two so two 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 and then we've got three so we got three threes this side and then again around the other side <laughs> So like I said, it's going to be a case of undoing the straps and then putting them back on again because we got three, 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 three. So we have to undo all these straps, but then do them back up because you've got five here, six there, so on and so forth. But we'll sort that out. Uh, just had to use this pole to uh, to feed a strap through that gap. It's not straight, but it'll do. The reason for that is because on this side, let me show you. I've got these here and the two straps going down from the very top wasn't enough to hold these in. It stopped them from going outwards, but it didn't stop them from sliding 
forwards or backwards, which is why I've used that other strap to apply pressure on here, which is then put holding it in and the same for the one on the, on the bottom as well. So that's good. Anyway, we've got to measure and then we'll be good to go. So what is a height stick? A height stick is in here. Let me show you. When you're on a flatbed, it's very handy to have a, a height stick because obviously your, uh, the height of your load will vary depending on what it is you're carrying and how high. Um, yeah, so this is the high stick. It goes up very, very high. And on it, it tells you what it is in both uh, centimeters on this side and also feet in this side. So I, for example, if I measure myself, that's touching my head there. According to this stick, I am six foot five. <laughs> According to the sick, uh, I am wearing boots though with a bit of a heel on it. But yeah, that's saying six or five. I thought I was six three personally. Hang on, I can go down. Yeah, I'd say that's that's my height. There you go. According to this, I'm six foot four, just over 100 and, well, 193 centimeters. That's my height. But in terms of in terms of high height, you go. That's five meters it goes, which uh, coincidentally is, is the height of uh, the allowed limit. Okay, I'm under what I believe to be the highest point of the trailer. And uh, what I do is I swing it around like that to give me clearance. And I feel comfortable at 14.3, which is 4.35 nearly centimeters so 4.35 so what i will do is round that up to th uh the 4.4 so yeah 4.4 i just gotta check check the front now and then we'll uh we'll be good oh yeah definitely under so um yeah 4.4 based on the tallest point over there and just so you can see it from this angle so yeah it's quite clearly uh the highest point of the trailer uh, and that is measuring at 4.35 i will say 4.4 to be safe uh, I won't go under any bridges less than 4.4. So yes, obviously I can put that into the sat nav, the uh, the truck in sat nav, and it won't won't take me to any bridges less than 4.4. Happy days. Right, we're loaded and we've got our paperwork. Ooh. Can I just say I've, I've already said it, but the lady in the office incredibly friendly, the forklift driver very friendly, very helpful. This is probably one of the best places I've gone to for a collection. Everything has been explained perfectly. The labels are on point. It tells you what number it is. It's nice and clear. I can't see how you could go wrong with this job. Um, the load is a bit of a Frankenstein load. You've got to be careful how you strap it up. Um, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. But, like, the place... Oh, my God, they're so friendly. <laughs> I love this place. I've only been here an hour or so, and I love it. Um, right, so bad news <laughs> um i can be at the first drop we've got nine drops as i've said i'm going to say it loads of times in this video i could be at the first drop in uh, in two hours time i could be there for quarter past two and um yeah and let me just let me just tell you what we're doing in this video so we're going to go to tunbridge wells brighton orendale or arendale horsham crawley Red Hill, Godstone, and two drops in Canvey Island. That's all the places we are going to in this video. Um, so if you live any, anywhere near any of them, keep an eye out. As I was saying, I could get to the first one in um, Tunbridge, Wales, in two hours. Could be there at quarter past two this afternoon. Happy days. However, you're not allowed to turn up early or you get fined. That's a B&Q thing, not a this place thing. That's a B&Q thing, I've been told. Do not turn up early, do not turn up like late, turn up on time, which is fine. Except the delivery time is quarter past bloody nine tomorrow morning. 
So I gotta find somewhere to park up now because I can't I can't get to the, <laughs> the delivery point today. Oh, pain. Absolute pain. Um I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna park there. So I'm gonna be parked up in an hour and a half, and then I'm only 45 minutes away then from where I need to be. I don't need to be there until quarter past nine in the morning. So I'm gonna be parked up around half past two this afternoon and I don't need to start until quarter past eight tomorrow morning. That's 18 hours off. 18 hours, which annoys me because that's a lot of time to have off wasted. It's a lot of time. Anyway, what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Anyway, I'll see you when we're parked up, wherever that might be. I have an idea of where I'm gonna go. Um, but I might see if I get a bit closer. See you in a bit. Okay, you join me um, in Tunbridge. <laughs> we um, basically, shortly after you last saw me, I phoned my boss up and I said, look mate, I said it's not due until tomorrow morning, uh, quarter past nine, but I can be there for quarter past two, give or take, just after. However, they did say that we may occur a fine for doing so. I uh, said, so uh, what do you want to do? Park up early or try my luck? And he said, try your luck. So that is what we're doing. We are trying our luck. Fingers crossed we can get it off. It's only four lifts for this first drop. Um, if, they're feeling, if they're feeling really ambitious, they can take it off in one go. Um, probably two goes, but if not, four goes at, at most, seeing as there's only four lifts. Um, so we are going to try our luck. We're also keeping an eye out for places to park. So there was a lay-by about eight miles back. So it might be a case that we've got to go back up eight miles, well, maybe 10 miles, turn around and come back and um, park in that lay-by, which will only, I think it was about 16 minutes away from from where we're delivering. So it will mean driving for another 45 minutes just to get back to that lay-by. But unless I see somewhere else near, near here, I don't think we're gonna have much option, to be honest. Good chance to see the trailer while it's uh, going around the roundabout, seeing as we've been mostly straight most of the way. I've got a car that's going to attempt to come around the outside of me by the looks of it. So I'm just keeping an eye on it as I go around this roundabout. Otherwise, you will get squashed. There you go. And uh, yeah, we're only 0.8 miles away, so we're not very far away at all. This particular vlog, although I do have nine deliveries, I am going to try and film at each place on my phone, but I probably won't film arriving at each place. Uh, otherwise, the, the vlog would just be way too long. So I'll probably, I'm going to record this one, obviously. I've got a van now trying to come around the outside, just to see what the outcome is, because we are pushing our luck. And then I might do one or two tomorrow, and I'll... Uh, record where we park up and stuff like that and say how many we've done for the day and hopefully we can also have some sort of timer on screen to indicate how far ahead or behind we are uh, on schedule because can we turn right here because every store does have a, an estimated time of arrival I think we can turn right here can't we yeah sat now saying go straight down and turn around but we can just turn right here, look. Lovely. I have delivered to this store before. Um, for B&Q for BMQ themselves. It's a B&Q store we are delivering to, by the way. I don't know if I said. Right, that answers that question. This is private land, no parking allowed. I was wondering if I could park here. Authorised vehicles only. Yes, we might get a ticket if we park here. Better not push our luck. There's a lorry right in the turning circle. And there's a B&Q lorry in there as well. Is this lorry trying to get into B&Q? This is a turning circle, mate, so let me see if I can get round with you there.
see what he says. All right, mate. Well, I've just got in, mate. Yeah, I see it. Are you waiting to get in as well? Oh, You're done, are you? All right. Uh, if he's done, I should be able to park up behind him. He's probably having a break. I wouldn't just uh, reverse in behind him unless I knew for sure that he was done, do you know what I mean? Uh, because we know he is done. Did I just mess that up quite severely? I think I did. The road is bending. <laughs> Need to get it turned quicker. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just barge in without asking first, so that's why I've just asked. And there is a lorry that's just gone in, so um, what we'll do is just park behind him. I just need to go back a little bit more so I can straighten up and get over to the right as far as I can. And that way the lorry that just went in can then come back out. Lovely jubbly. Is he coming over? I think the guy on the warehouse is actually coming over to me. I'll go speak to him, see what he says. Hopefully we can get it off. Right, good news. They will tip me. There is a lorry in there though, so uh, they said I just need to sit tight for that one to come out, but he said it'd be about an hour and a half. So there's enough room left for the lorry to get past me. In the meantime, uh, well, if it takes an hour and a half, it takes an hour and a half. Nothing we can do about that, but it will save us some time tomorrow, so everything's good. So yeah, what we're going to do now is just Check all the straps, make sure they're all okay. Everything's still on. Looks good. I'll go get my gloves and then we can actually try it out. But yeah, this uh, this store literally just has these four here on this side. So we'll get that unstrapped, ready to go. And uh, jobs are good in. Right, we're finally in. Uh, we got here at quarter past two and it is now half past four. <laughs> so we have been waiting a while, but we're in. I'm not gonna moan too much. Happy days. And there we go. Being taken off in one go. Lovely doubly. And there we go. Uh, load is off. Restrapped back up. Delivery number two is just the blue stickers. So it's these four packs. Plus those two little ones. So yes. Waited uh, just over two hours to be to be let in. And we're, we got tipped at two minutes. <laughs> to go wait for someone now to open the gate and so we can get out. Right, that's us parked up for the night. We are in a place called Uxbridge. Um, we're about 45 minutes away or so from Brighton. So we're parked up here, we're on an industrial estate. Um, near that building, if anyone knows where that is. So yeah, it does look quite busy, but I'm hoping it will quieten down later. Uh, it's a very, very long road that goes all the way down, but I just grabbed the first place I could see. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to park here for now. It is like 20 past five, half past five, so one of the reasons why it's so busy. But it's all good. Just going to cross the road. We have uh, checked the load. Everything is still on, which is all good. And uh, so yeah, tomorrow morning, we just got to get rid of the number twos, which are those two there, and then these four, and then that'll be it for uh, the first job. I think according to the paperwork, the second delivery is due at like 11 o'clock or something in the morning. So what we'll probably do is, it also says on the paperwork, deliveries only between nine o'clock and 4.30. So I'm probably gonna turn up at about half past eight in the morning so I'm, I'm late enough that they can't tell me to go away because they should take delivery in half an hour, but also early enough that hopefully I beat any other driver trying to get there for nine o'clock. That's the aim. But if I get there for half past eight, nine o'clock, and the delivery's due for 11 hours, that would mean that I'm two hours ahead of schedule. So the aim is to try and stay two hours ahead of schedule over the next couple of days. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna go uh, watch some TV and have some food and I'll see you in the morning. 
Okay, morning everyone. We are at the second delivery, which is the first one for today, but second one overall. We're in B&Q in Brighton. We have turned up, uh, just before nine o'clock we turned up, but now we've stepped off and they're taking it off. We are ahead of schedule, baby. Uh, he was actually very happy that we turned up early, so that's good. Okay, and that's the last one coming off now, look. Lovely. Right, right, we're tipped. That didn't take long. Uh, like I said, we literally turned up just before nine o'clock and uh, that is now off. So that's good. That is good. Uh, we were due here at 11.15 and we are, we were here by nine o'clock and we're tipped. So we are currently two hours and 15 minutes ahead of schedule, which is great. Right, next one. I've done zero planning. As in, I haven't put any of the next details into the sat-nav uh, of the place we're going to next. So we're now going to Stubbs Corpse Woodyard in Arundel. That's where we're going next. I'm just going to put it into the sat-nav. So I'll just show you what we're doing. So put, put, just put the postcode into Google and it comes up with this. Where is it? Oh yeah, there we go. Stubbs Corpse Woodyard. So this is where we're going to next. Looks like we come off uh, Crossbur... Crossbush Lane. So now I'm just looking on the sat now to try and pinpoint exactly. It looks a little bit narrow, doesn't it? Crossbush Lane. Uh, is that Clay Lane? Yeah. Right, so I've got the exact turning scheduled onto my sat nav now. That's now going to calculate the route. And it looks like mostly A roads all the way there until we get to this turn in. That looks decent. Might get a little bit narrow down here with parked cars. Yeah, like down here, look. But this is where we're going to be. Woo! They're par are they both parked? No, that that car's got to be waiting, surely. <laughs> That'd be tight if they were both parked there. Like. Yeah, it's going to be good. It won't be too bad. And then we go all the way down to this lane. We'll arrive at your destination at 9.55. And then you can already see on the, on the Google that you can see tyre marks already. Uh, and we want to head down there. So yeah, you can see if I go this way a bit more. We want to come from this direction. And you can see, you can see tire marks on the ground. You see like a little bit of a swish there. Into this yard. And that's where we're going to be going next. So there are some houses and stuff on the side. Let you again, you can see the tire marks going in. So that's how you know that heavy traffic goes into that way. Uh, and Stubbs Corpse Woodland, wood, wood Yard. Cool, so we know where we're going. Destination's into the sat-nav. We've got paperwork ready to go. Uh, we are due there for one o'clock this afternoon. It does say uh, unloading hours critical, Monday to Friday, eight till two, so we're, we're fine. We're scheduled for one o'clock. We're gonna be there for just before 10 o'clock. So by the time we get there, we should be three hours, three hours ahead of schedule. The aim today, is to try and get at least one done today, which is due for tomorrow. That's the aim. Uh, if we can get two done today, which are due for tomorrow, then we'll have a very short day tomorrow. Because, if I remember rightly, <laughs> today we've got one, two, three, four scheduled. We've got four scheduled for today. We've already done two, so we, we can do another two easy. Tomorrow we've got one, two, three, Four, five. There's five scheduled for tomorrow. So if we can do one or two today, then that would mean that we've only got three or four then tomorrow from uh, from tomorrow's job. But yeah, you get what I mean. You get what I mean. But yeah, that was easy. Last night I was looking at this place and it looked like it might have been a case of queuing up on the road down here to before we go in. But um, no, we've managed to get in straight away. Give way to the right. Nothing coming. We're all good. And we need to take up both lanes here to turn left. So we're going to start indicating left, but getting the right-hand side lane. So yeah, anyway, uh, I'm not going to film too much on the roads because I just want to get going. I will try my best to film at each and every location. Uh, and then I'll film like a couple of bits and bobs on the GoPro. So I'm going to crack on. I'll see you when we get to Arundel. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Right, number threes are coming off. I've got one this side as well, which I think she's grabbed. Maybe by accident, I'm not sure. 
yeah, the freezer coming off. Happy days. Next one is just this one pallet, number four. It's going to a Jusons. Uh, too heavy to handle off. But uh, it, it does need taken off, just the one. Okay, situation report. So we got that um, third delivery off. Uh, there were nine lifts, so it was one of the bigger ones, but only took five minutes to take them all off. She was rapid. Uh, we got there at 10 o'clock this afternoon, and um, we wouldn't do there until one o'clock. So we're now three hours ahead of schedule, technically. Um, next place is Jusons, like I said earlier, but we've only got one little tiny thing to come off, one pallet. Um, we're due there for three o'clock. Our ETA is 11 o'clock, so that's gonna put us four hours ahead of schedule. So we're doing very, very well. We're just in the queue at the moment to get some fuel at a BP garage. So uh, yeah, the lorry in front is just leaving now. So I'm gonna go get some fuel. Number four coming off, lovely. Right, that's number four done. So the next drop is number five, which is just this back one. That's uh, that's the only one for number five. Or is it? Yeah. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, I thought I'd turn the old GoPros on uh, as I've not spoken to you for a little bit. So yeah, this morning um, we got to our second job in Brighton um, for nine o'clock in the morning. We got, the, well, we got there just before nine, but the paperwork said specifically no deliveries before nine, so that's good. We got that tipped off very quickly and the guy there was actually very pleased to see us because he said he finishes, he finishes work at 12 o'clock and I wasn't booked into half 11 and uh, he wanted to get me tipped before we went home. <laughs> and he said, now I've turned up, he can go home. <laughs> so he was happy. Um, so we've done that one. Then we went to the second delivery point. We got that off quite quickly as well. That was um, like in the, oh, I thought they were gonna crash then. That was in the, uh, it looked like some sort of wood sawmill sort of place almost. So we got that one off. That was the second one today, but the third one overall. We've just delivered the fourth one overall. Uh, which was one little tiny pallet at a juice and store. So we've done four deliveries. Three of them were today, one was yesterday. Uh, but we've done four deliveries. That is all we were supposed to do today. We're, that is how far ahead of schedule we are. Uh, the next destination is Juicin's in Crawley. That is where we're on our way to now. Now, according to my paperwork, that's booked in for tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. <laughs> we're gonna be there at 12 o'clock today. So we're gonna get that one off. We're probably gonna get the next one off as well which is due uh, Red Hill, due for quarter past nine tomorrow morning. We're gonna get that one off before four o'clock as well, easily. And then the question is, can we get the third one off? Well, the third one for tomorrow, which would be delivery number seven. If we can get, I want, I'm aiming to get delivery number seven off today. That is what I'm aiming to do. Which we, this thing, that's in Godstone. Yeah, Ferrell's Building Merchants in Godstone. Been there a few times. They actually recognised me last time I went there. They watched my videos. So I know the place quite well. Um, they may tip me later. Who knows? But I'm hoping to get that one done. And then all we've got to do is head over to Canvey Island and get two off probably in tomorrow morning, um, which aren't due off until tomorrow afternoon. So we are proper, proper, proper ahead of schedule, which is good. So it is worth pointing out that I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing to get this work done. Yesterday, I just happened to turn up to be in Kira at two o'clock in the afternoon. I waited for two hours, wasn't in a rush, just chilling for two hours before they tipped me. It's only because I got that first one off yesterday that um, I'm so ahead of schedule for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, I'm not rushing at all. I'm just getting there, turning up, undoing the straps, taking them off. It's easy, easy work. I love it. <laughs> it's really easy work. So yeah, the aim, the aim now is to get to this next juice in St. Crawley, get that one taken off. Um, which is, I think it's two lifts I saw. A little bit confused actually, the paperwork says that there's nine lifts, but there's only two with number five on, so that's all they're having, basically. And then get to the second stall for number six. I think they have quite a bit more, number six. Oh, we just went past a DVSA checkpoint. Nice, luckily we didn't get pulled. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I wish I wish we got pulled actually, because they make very good in uh, income on the, on the old YouTube. <laughs> they get some they get some views. It would have been nice to be pulled actually. Never mind.
So yeah, number five we are heading to now. They've, they've only got two lifts. Number six, I think, got a, a few lifts, like four or five lifts, I think. Uh, number seven might only be one lift. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe seven got a few as well. Yeah, seven does have a few. It doesn't matter. We'll um, we get there when we get there. We take off what we need to take off. But yeah, we're proper ahead of schedule, and uh, it's really good. Anyway, I'm going to head to Crawley. I shall see you when we're there. Okay, drop five. We've got that one on the back end coming off. And then there's one, the other side of that one, weirdly. Don't know why they put it this far front, but they did. Let me show you. There we go. So that's a number five up there as well. And then, yeah, just the one on the back, which is uh, a, full, a full width one. It's not two separate pallets. It's uh, just one long one. As you can see. Okay, number five done. It's got to head to number six now. We've got one, two, three this side. And I think we've got three the other side as well. Lovely jubbly. Right, first time we've had to uh, wait to get in on this one. There's a lorry already in here, so we've got to just wait out on the road. There we are, until, uh, until they can let us in. But we can start unstrapping anyway. Um, so this is delivery number six. So we shall take off the straps covering the sixes, which is these four. Got one up there, two this side. I'll just go around to the other side and have a look. Two this side. In actual fact, these two and that one up there is actually a uh, big pallet, so it's actually only three lifts. So it's not gonna take long at all. Lovely. Yeah, so there we go. So number six, I've got three lifts, one, two, three. Number seven, I've got one, two, three, four five lifts because uh they're all the whole width of the bed so yeah very easy very quick one of the guys just um walked past and said are you from uh from ferrules i was like yeah mate he goes oh how strange he goes i just phoned them up and they said because he goes we're desperate for it i just phoned them up to see how how long away you are how far away you are how long you're gonna be and they said uh, you'll be here tomorrow I said yeah so i'm, I'm really early mate he goes oh no lovely we really want it so it's good that I've turned up early. Uh, it's not due until quarter past nine tomorrow morning, this one. And it's 10 to one, we're here, ready to go. Straps are off, just gotta wait to be called in. Oh, while we're waiting to be called in, I feel like I should um, say, because I get asked in nearly every video, no, I've not been punched in the eye. <laughs> uh, eyelashes rub my iris, my iris is itchy. I've actually got uh, eye drops I'm supposed to put. Hilo lubricates my eye. Um, my eyelid goes into my eye, my eye goes itchy, and I rub my eye, gives me bruising around my eye. Just recently I've been developing skin tags on my eye, where I'm rubbing it so much, and uh, I don't like the skin tag, so I decided to get a pair of tweezers and I literally poured one off. And, uh, well, that's what that red mark is there. <laughs> it's the remnants of a, of a skin tag, which I, I yanked off. And in hindsight, I probably should have done that. <laughs> right, that's the first two coming off. Just that one on the top now to come off and then that's it for this one and then we'll crack on to job number seven i'm hoping to get seven off today as well and that'll leave uh two for tomorrow morning then hopefully okay we are now at delivery point number seven straps are off ready to go we've got these ones on the back that are coming off we're just waiting for that truck to move and then we can reverse back uh but yeah basically these two rows either side that's it and then all we left then is with that we've got delivery eight there and again on the other side and then delivery nine is the rest of them lovely i don't think we're going to get delivery eight off today bear in mind all, <laughs> all these deliveries were supposed to last me until the end of tomorrow again i'm not rushing to get them done i'm just just sort of going at a slow normal pace but um yeah they're getting done quicker than quicker than normal i think and quicker than average but hey ho not gonna moan but I don't think I don't think eight's gonna get off today. I think it's a bit of a drive to get to number eight, so we're probably looking for someone to park on the way and then get to number eight first thing in the morning. Uh deliveries eight and nine are both um is it Canvey Island? Canvey Island, something like that. Right now we're in Godstone. So 
yeah, just waiting to get them off. Okay, number seven coming off. Yeah, baby. Okay, situation report. Um, we have done, we've done seven deliveries. Three of which were supposed to have been done tomorrow. Um, we haven't quite got enough time to do the other two. We could maybe, maybe have squeezed in job number eight and got there just before four o'clock. However, it's, it's in Canvey Island, uh, Canvey Island and there is nowhere to park that I could see. There's a, there's a, there's an industrial estate around the corner, but there was yellow lines on it, so I'd rather not risk it. And there was no way we were going to get the last delivery off. So seeing as they're only a mile apart from each other, give or take, we're just going to do it in the morning. Um, so I'm pulling into Clackett Lane Services, A, because I could do with a break, B, I could do with going to the toilet, and C, well, because we're done, basically. So, yeah, I might just park up here for the night and stay here. I don't know, we'll see. I might just, I might go down the road a bit more. I don't know, we're, we'll find out. <laughs> but we're pulling in here for now, because we're done for the day, essentially. It's only half past two. Laurie and Coach Park left. It's only, uh, well, it's just gone half past two in the, in the afternoon, so... Ugh. It's very early in the day. I think I'm just going to go to the toilet. Let's put on brake. Go to the toilet, get anything we need to get while we're here, and then I might just drive on to a parking space that I park in every now and then, which is free, just before the Dartford crossing. Yeah, my parking space where I normally park is only 30 minutes away, so we'll probably just stay here for a little bit and then, uh, and then we'll go there. Right, see you in a bit. Okay. Just like that, we are done for the day. I'm just in the process of closing curtains up. Because we're done. Or we'll better lock the door as well. And turn the engine off. Well, truth be told, I have actually been here for um, about 10 minutes already. Oh, you're a bit wonky. Uh, no, not sorry, not 10 minutes. More than 10 minutes, more like 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, we're at a place that I've stayed at a few times. We're gonna stay here for the night. We're about an hour away from the delivery point tomorrow. They said get there for about half past eight. So we'll probably open up the curtains about seven o'clock, do some checks and then make our way over there. We get there just after eight, get the first one off, which would be delivery number seven. Delivery number eight is just down the road. So we hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have both off by about half past nine, 10 o'clock in the morning at the absolute latest. That's what I'm hoping. And then that'll be the end of this video. But um, I'm going to bed. We're well, not bed. I'm going to close my curtains, have something to eat. And uh, I will see you guys in the morning. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay, morning. We are at our uh, eighth delivery now. It's just coming off. One this side, one the other side. Lovely, lovely. Getting the chip nice and early. Okay, number eight is now done. So gotta get paperwork and then we can get number nine off. Okay, so as you just saw, we just got delivery number eight off. We were supposed to be there for 12.45 this, um, this afternoon, I suppose you could say. Uh, but we actually got there at half past seven, so <laughs> proper, proper early. This next job we're going to, uh, we were supposed to be here for two o'clock this afternoon and we're gonna be there for about eight o'clock. So, I can confirm, ladies and gentlemen, that we've got this work completed uh, six hours ahead of schedule. Six hours. I don't remember this road being so uh, bumpy. Maybe I'm coming in a different way, I don't know. Ugh. But yes, we're on our way now to our final delivery point, delivery point number nine, which is, uh, I think they call it the Cap Can V Supply or something. I have actually been here before. I think I've delivered um, bolt bags from Melcourt, I think. But I've definitely been here on behalf of Day Aggregates when I, when I was working at JK Transport. 100% I've been here for then. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's literally just off a roundabout, and as you get in, I'm, I'm sure there's a security hut. They ask you what you got. I'm on a flatbed, so you should be able to see what I've got, mate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So um, hopefully they can see what we've got on. Uh, we've only got one two, one, two, three, four lifts, I think. It's only four lifts, so it should be nice and easy. Nice and easy. And then, 
you won't see it in this video, but from here, we've got to go to Tilbury Docks, get loaded with some pavestone, and then do a, del a local delivery in Burford, and then we're done for the day. Today is Friday, of course. Right, in here we go. The security hut is just there, but no, there's no one in it. Was there anyone in that hut? I don't think there was. I think I'll just park up somewhere on the left. Last time I come here, we parked somewhere up on the right. See, so there's two guys up in front looking at me. <laughs> What's the better than I go, and go over and speak to them and they'll, uh, they'll disappear? Possible. Possible. But yeah, no, we definitely parked there last time on the right, on the right hand side. Anyway, um, let's go and get this taken off. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, delivery number nine is now coming off. Lovely doubly. Number nine, all of that's coming off now. Right, we're tipped. Put my gloves down here. Your destination at Now, I do need to apologize for the audio. My microphone's died. <laughs> Forgot to charge it up. So the sound is gonna be slightly different, but it doesn't matter because it is pretty much the end of the video anyway. Let's put the paperwork away. Lots of paperwork this week. That's a heavy folder, man. Right, um, da -da 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 -da, what are we doing? Right, I'm not entirely sure the best way of getting out of here. I think I might have to reverse it down there. But to do that, Drive down there. Yeah, that's the best way of doing it. Lift lift up. Spin the Yeah, we're gonna drive down there on the left, reverse back down there on the right. That should get us out of here. No problemo. Actually looks like it's a one-way system. Oh I never mind. If they want me to go. <laughs> if they want me to go the one-way system, they should probably have told me it's a one-way system. Never mind. This is the way we're going to get out. This is the way we are going to get out. Oh, all there now. You going? You gone? Good, good. Lovely. And then we can go forward and we can get out of here. Yes. Tidy up my bunk a little bit. That has me uh, deodorant I put on this morning. X only. I can't go that way. It's a bit tight, isn't it? We're breaking all the rules here. We didn't go down the one way system. We're going out the exit. We get the intro. Uh, not the intro. The in way. Breaking all the rules. Yeah, it's alright, mate. I've already made it now. It's too late. Thank you. You don't look very happy, mate. <laughs> The uh, security guy did not look happy. Never mind. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> uh, he was pointing that way. I was like, well, I've already come here now, mate. It's, it's too late. If you work at the uh, canvas store there, I do apologize. I don't think I can make that. Never mind. Anyway, that is going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Uh, like you saw, we got nine deliveries made. I think that's probably the most deliveries I've made um, from a single trailer, 100%. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've not done more than nine deliveries. I think the Christmas trees I did not too long ago, I think there was four or five stores on that, but there, there weren't nine stores. So we, we've, yeah, definitely more deliveries on that trailer than ever before that I've done, so. It's a new record for me and uh, something new that I've done and achieved. So yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, and yeah, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.